So let's see, throw all that into the Opta predictor and see what the computer spits out. Michael loves this bit. Are we here again? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, OK, so City were the favourites, now Liverpool are the favourites. That's the Welcome big back to work. <laughs> <laughs> But still see Arsenal as the outsiders, despite the fact that they've uh, come to a big rival and haven't been beaten. But Liverpool in pole position. Wow. Yeah. What do we think? I, no, I, yeah, I think Liverpool, as of today's results, yeah, I'd have them favourites. And I'd have, uh, I'd, have, I'd, have, um, I'd have Arsenal second favourites. I think with their goal difference, I just think with City, with the injuries and the strain of everything, they've got Champions League coming up. Obviously, same for Arsenal. So I'd, um, I, I think Liverpool and uh, yeah, I, I see them as favourites. But you said something earlier when we were watching the game that if Manchester City went on to win this title yeah. this season, that would be the best. I think yet. I, I, I think so. No, every 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 title obviously, obviously is is magical. But I just think what City have gone on through the last few years. Uh, with the injuries they've had this year, the challenges coming their way, and it's obviously never been done before. And I think with the the, the flow is not in their game at the moment. Again, we talk about their standards are so high for the last few years. I think if they could get the title one this year, I think it, it'd be Pep's best title in England. Arsenal still the outsiders, Theo. Make a case. Well, I think I look at Arsenal now and I look at their squad. They're getting all their squad back together, fitness. Everyone seems to be sort of in a good good spirits as well. Man City now losing a lot of players. Obviously, Liverpool playing with a lot of freedom. But Arsenal, I feel like, in a good spot. I think the Champions League is going to be very crucial, I think, when it comes to it, of what sort of teams that these guys are going to put out, of course, and who they're going to be focused with as well. But looking at the running, I think City have got a, a better run in than the other two, I'd say, in the fixtures, uh, if you look down the list. But, yeah, I mean, if you end up beating City this year, you deserve to win this league because this, they've been, no doubt, the best team for, for many years now. But, it's, again, we're starting to catch up now. Arsenal are, and Liverpool, of course, have been... Just at a different level, and that announcement of Klopp again. I, I, I echo it, but it's going to help. Massively. Let me just let me just before you come in, Gary. On, on Arsenal, if we're just talking about them for a second, they, and everyone says they have the most difficult of the fixtures to come. But take away the Luton game because they didn't play Luton last season. Of those remaining fixtures, they won all of those last season, apart from the game at Manchester United, which is their penultimate fixture. Should that give them some hope? Look, I mean. They won't be looking too far ahead of that game. They, they look, this is this is what I was saying before. They can't afford to to lose to the lesser teams. Should we just say? I think the fact that they're playing home away, you know, quite consistently, would help the flow of the the way the structure is going to be in the league. But they need to obviously now focus on the next game, and that's such a cliche. But they generally do. They really do right looking now. Looking at the, the fixtures, I, I don't think there's any. I, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think yeah. there's much in it. I don't think I, I would ever. You, I would say I, cities. Are looking at cities, cities, there. cities are the best fixtures yeah. on paper. On paper. Sure. But they also dropped points in games um, against Brighton away last season, against Forest away. They lost at Spurs. They still got to go there. So there is the possibility that City might drop points along the way yeah. too. Yeah, and we haven't seen this weekend. I mean, Liverpool are probably below the best. Both teams here today below the best in their attacking sense. So we've not seen yet which team actually is going to sort of in the next week or so hit form. We knew before the international break who was in form. Arsenal were in, the, I think, the best form out of the three teams. Liverpool were hanging on a little bit towards the end. City, obviously, I think, you know, these good form as well. But I think that Arsenal's performance levels were really high pre-international break. What happens this next week or so is critical because I think you're going to need good form going into that running. Well, in the, in the very short term, of course, they've all got home games this week. For Liverpool, who are out in front, they've got Sheffield United. You would expect them to beat Sheffield United. And then they go to Old Trafford next Sunday, uh, as, as they did a couple of weeks ago in the FA Cup, and we know what happened there. So what kind of outcome would you expect this time? Given that, um, well, which Manchester United are we going to uh, see who, next who, week? Well, who knows? Who knows what United... <laughs> no, you don't know what United team is going to turn up. We've seen over the last few weeks, whether it be the, the Cup game, where Liverpool left them off the hook, really. But United, to be fair, they got the job done. We saw them last night where they were uh, rubbish, like absolute rubbish. But they got a draw and they probably, could, should, probably should have won it and held on at the end. But this, so this Man United team, we're having the same conversation about United every week. You do not know what's going to turn up. And the, the point I've been making for the last few months or even longer, every team that plays against Man United find it very easy to open them up and get chances. It's just a matter of them which team takes them. And if they give Liverpool the amount of chances, opportunity they did in the Cup game, then they will be well beaten. So if Liverpool beat Sheffield United and then were to win at Old Trafford... With the lead they already have, would they be your oh, winners? Be, no, I, 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 I said Arsenal at the start of the season. I'm not going to shift now because I think our old teams are still in it. Um, no, I think if they won at, if they won at Old Trafford next Sunday, Liverpool would be in great shape mentally because you win a big game like that. It has a massive impact upon you. But 
you know, there's still a long way to go beyond that as well. I mean, I think, like you say, anything could happen next Sunday. You have no idea. What you, you know, the one what, thing what, I say when you watch Liverpool, every time I watch Liverpool week in, we go, and I can look at their, the one or two faults they might have, but they get so many chances every yeah. game. They create so many chances, they you know, score lots of goals. So, Gary's still going Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not changing my prediction. I mean, I'm just not. I mean, I, I, I genuinely think Manchester City <coughs> could win all nine games. I genuinely think that's what they do. So, what, But that I, might be enough. It would be enough, I think. Yeah, it it, would it be. might be enough. It may not be, but I think it would so be. A good few, they're what, a few points behind a goal difference. I don't know. I'd go with... You'll go with... I'm, I'm going to go with Liverpool, I think. Yes. Oh, yeah. I need a drink, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> changing like the wind, you! I'm not changing like the wind. I've, see, I've said Man City, I'm surprised I've won against them, but what I've seen recently, I'm going to go with Liverpool. Can I change yeah. next week, though? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to get beaten. Well, yeah. We've got to stick with me. At the start of the season, I did fancy Liverpool, I really did. Looking at Arsenal today. <laughs> you say you fancied Liverpool at the start of the season? Yeah, I did. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, but he, oh, was, he watches know. that dragon show. Wasn't <laughs> there we go. That's all great. Watch the dragons. But I'm gonna. I think Arsenal today showed that they can they can really grind results out. But a lot, I think a lot of teams will take a lot from Arsenal's performance today and might sort of affect how Man City play and get results now. So I can't see City winning all the games. I can't. All depends what happens in Europe, doesn't it? Man City got Madrid. Arsenal have got Bayern. You know what I mean? Liverpool have got Atalanta in the Europe. You never know what's going on. Does that give them the advantage? Different intensity, don't It's different like it. intensity, of course. Um, City of the FA Cup. But I would, I would, <laughs> we can't call it, can we? No one's it, it's, really it's tough, sure. But you've got to stick. I agree with Gary. You've got to stick to what? You went Arsenal. I've gone City. I'm going to stick with City. All right. We will see. It's, it's, good, it's good that we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. We it's genuinely good. split. We don't know. That's a good thing. We, we, I can't remember the last time we, we got to this stage of the season and still there are three great teams in with a shot, which is uh, all we can hope for.